you probably uh, want to share your screen, Marcus. Oh, okay. I, I okay. thought you will uh, share your screen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Because uh, you will have. No, let, let me do. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Oke, okay, Ibu dan Bapak. <laughs> uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So we are in the final sessions of this workshop conducted by uh, British Council, uh, ITAL, and also the AURI. And today we will probably uh, talk about what we call as investment. And uh, before we start, probably it's the best time to introduce. I am Agus and currently I am based in Universitas 11 Maret in Solo, uh, which is only an hour drive from Madiun. <coughs> Pak Freddy yeah, uh, is from Madiun. Yes, sir. with Mr. Rion. Okay, and Mr. Ian is also in Madiun. And uh, we also managed to have a campus in Madiun in Mejayan, Pak. But not in Kota Madiun, but in Kabupaten Madiun, oh, in Mejayan. Kecamatan okay. Mejayan. Okay. So uh, we have a, a campus of Sebelas Maret University over there. And then over there in Jogja, Uh, we have Daniel. Daniel, can you introduce yourself to everybody here? Okay, so good morning, Bapak Ibu. It's good to see you today. And I'm so thrilled to uh, have more new friends right now here. Um, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, I'm Daniel Ariwidiatama. Uh, as you can see here on the screen, uh, on my daily basis, I'm teaching at uh, Universitas Jubuana, Yogyakarta. Uh, measuring English language education study program. And um, what else? Yeah, uh, I'm also a part of uh, ITEL as the one of the directors of uh, program development. And um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, that's all about this. Okay, <clears throat> fantastic. So, uh, do you all uh, see the screen? My uh, the title of the workshop today. I just yes. to make it short. Yes, I do. It's clear. Okay, cool. Yes, so uh, today we are discussing uh, some steps or not steps strategies uh, how to perform language skill assessment, especially with the aid of. Uh, what do you call it, of technology. And we will focus today uh, on how to assess the writing laptop skills. Okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me just continue. So Ibu Baba, Uh, we are again today uh, talking about uh, how to perform English writing skill assessment with the aid of technology. And I believe uh, you have been familiar with some apps, with some uh, technological tools uh, to help us assess our students. But now, uh, as what probably you have been doing with the previous uh, colleagues from ITAL, uh, our cycle will be similar. Firstly, we will do uh, like overview and then you will experience, uh, we will show you how to do it and then you will experience that. And then we will reflect at the end of uh, our discussions. But now talking about uh, assessment, 
probably let us see this. I believe you have been familiar with Answer Garden from Pak Jati and uh, Miss Finita on the first week. Let us go there, Pak, uh, Baba and Ibu. Let us go to Bitly slash Auri assessment one. So I want to see, I want you to write only three words about uh, assessments. So once again, uh, Bitly slash Auri slash assessment one. Uh, I'm waiting uh, at the garden. Okay. Ibu Bapak, I'm waiting for your input. Uh, Daniel has just put the link at the chat box and please uh, post any or at least three words uh, come to your mind when you hear the word assessment. Someone? One word has come up. Let me just share here. What should we answer here? Uh, anyone, but anything. What word? I just want you to put a word uh, connected to, or you think is relevant to assessment. Hmm. Okay. Okay, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight words already. Oh, fantastic. You probably have to refresh, but. I have. Okay, reading. Face. Okay. Nice. If you could, uh, you can put uh, one word and then submit. Uh, you can input another word and then click submit so that we can have more uh, like uh, word cloud here. Yeah, I, I, I can only type one word here. Yeah, and you, you can always uh, repeat as many as uh, you can. Okay. Somebody is sleepy <laughs> for an assessment. All right. I wonder why it, where it is uh, midnight and oil <laughs> thing. <laughs> okay. I guess it it it's related to their uh, their their job. Mm, probably in Air Force Department. All uh, right. Cool. Wait. It's cool. Okay. Let's click to continue. Saya lupa mau refresh kok malah ini.
Okay. All right. So you have evaluation and score. Okay. So let us see here once again if somebody uh, input that score, you have to score, but at least uh, I saw some here score here. A score, excellent, bad, and then, yeah. Ibu and Papa, when you do assessment, uh, which one, uh, about, I should ask the, this question. Or uh, score has two points and at least three points here over, uh, over here you can see. If somebody, do you always, I mean, do you always give mark or score to your students? Uh, can somebody uh, respond to my questions orally, please? Again, the question, please. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, because uh, you see, uh, the more familiar words here uh, we have collected from the participants are score and evaluations. So uh, it seems, yes, assessment, I believe, is very relevant to evaluations. But do you always give mark or score to your students when you do assessment? Uh, not always, sir. not always, yeah. Sometimes we give the evaluation, yes, and also input, how to make it better next time. Fantastic, so, okay, the feedback and input, uh, how to make it better mm -hmm. uh, next time. Uh, in what cases uh, do you give score? In, in what cases uh, you just give the feedback, uh, Ricky? Well, I think I think uh, related to the uh, the test, the test. Sometimes we got uh, we got a middle test or the final test that we got. We have to give the score for them. So. Uh, okay. Is that because uh, uh, the what is it? The language center or uh, yes, the language schools require you to make uh, the midterm test and final test. Yes, yes, yes. We get to oh, report it to the, uh, our superordinate. All right, cool. So, uh, Ibu and Bapa, which one is more important, the score or the feedback? I think feedback is uh, more important because uh, before we give the feedback, we also always uh, give uh, the reinforcement and also encourage them to move forward, which means that we can also measure, we can also understand about the progress they made. Oh, okay, cool. The feedback is, is uh, more important. Anybody has a different point of view? Or probably you will add something, that, that is fine. By the way, Pak Sukiyo, where are you based now? In Jakarta, Surabaya, yeah. Malang? I'm in Jakarta in Air Force Academy. Oh, okay. Jogjakarta is not... Daniel is from Jogja, Pak Sukiya. Oh, Daniel. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Pak. Okay. Hello. <laughs> so, All right, so... Where is on, Daniel Station now? What's your institution, Daniel? I'm from Merjubwana University, oh, Jakarta, Pak. Oh, Merjubwana. Yeah. So, this is uh, Jalan Watas. Exactly, but currently I'm now uh, at home, and it's just uh, a few meters from you. I'm at Makuharjo, Bapak. Oh, Makuharjo is near my base here. Yeah. Okay. And also the class, uh, the class uh, was conducted the uh, Cologne, yeah. So when you are get, uh, teaching that uh, we use Cologne, yeah. class online. Class yeah. online. <laughs> Yeah, clone. Sure, okay. but <laughs> right. This is still in the morning, but we talk about clone. Ah. <laughs> okay, Pak Sukiyo, Pak Ricky has just mentioned that uh, feedback enforcement to better for improvement is is important for our students. All right. Uh, the next questions I want to share is. Uh, what is it? In what way, in what stage uh, do you do the assessment? 
Parike has just mentioned in the middle of the term, at the midterm, and in the final uh, term. So, uh, the final term assessment, I mean. So, do you all do this, or uh, anyone has different uh, experience probably of doing assessment? I want to hear from. Uh, so, because we have so far Papa, Freddy, Ricky, and also Pak Kyo, so I want to hear from Ibu the experience of doing assessment in what Pak Ricky has just made uh, mention uh, in the midterm and the final uh, term assessment. Ibu, Ibu, please uh, share your experience in doing the assessment. Anyone, please? Ole, Ibu Ayu, we have, I think from the name, Ibu Ayu, Ibu Henny, Ibu Tuti, yes. Uh, and also Miss Alice. We have some experience with the others. Oh, okay, cool. Does anybody make any, uh, what do you call it? Assessment at the beginning of the class? Or yeah. at the beginning of the term? Mm -hmm. In the beginning for uh, choosing the class. Uh -huh. So which one, uh, maybe the, in the elementary or intermediate level? Oh, okay, so, right. So you have to this is like uh, the student in. This once one. again. Yeah, we have to give them a kind of uh, entry test to decide whether they are in the elementary or intermediate. Fantastic. So, all right. So this is like a placement test. Yes, the placement yeah. test. Okay, uh, the placement test. All right. The next questions. Do you think uh, assessment? is always a test? Mm, not always. Not always, okay. But you must, you say your hands, I want to hear your voice. <laughs> you say your head. <laughs> uh, are you, are you, are you? I think like the assessment is not always be the test because sometimes when we do the assessment, uh, we just look someone and then we assess him related to his maybe and something else. Now in the same uh, boat, in the same understanding that uh, I think, yeah, saya malah, apa nama, take it for granted. I believe, everybody believes what Pak Dimas uh, just mentioned. So we believe that assessment is not like and examinations, it is not a task, it is to check what needs improvement. This is from Pa Ricky, I believe, and also uh, uh, reinforced also by Pa Sukio. So Ibu and Papa, uh, the next is uh, about the tool now, about the technology. Usually what technology were, uh, have you been familiar in using them for assessment. Sudah ada yang berpengalaman? If any one of you has any experience of using tool, uh, I, I want to know uh, here before we uh, move on to the next uh, stage of this discussion. Anyone has been uh, using any tool online? It will be okay. Or on the desktop WordPress? application? WordPress. The, the software from? Uh, you mean the application? Yes, the application. Yes. Yeah, any any application or any tool uh, you use for your uh, assessment? Anyone? Uh, in my office, um, I have uh, uh, the software uh, Winner Class. Winner Class software. It is uh, made by a company which uh, has the uh, contract with my office. Oh, okay. So you bought software yeah. from uh, the company. Mm -hmm. not, 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 not me, but the commander. Oh, okay. I, yes, I believe the institution, uh, I mean. Okay. <laughs> the application um, and, all, and the content of the application, we use Clarity, this uh, from British Council also. 
the clarity. Okay, clarity. And then uh, out of using uh, this program or this application, I also give uh, my students, especially related to uh, not only assessment and also test, we use uh, the Google Classroom and then uh, we make uh, some question from the Google form. And sometimes okay. also we use uh, the Moodle system. All right, okay. Uh, Google form for asking questions. And in the with the Moodle, what did you do with the Moodle, Pak Kia? And then this is especially for in case of learning. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, like a uh, question and answer also or what yeah Discussion? and also we can also give uh, encouragement there and also we can uh, reinforce by writing down whether this is superb or maybe well done good job etc we can get that one and uh, from this uh, system or this tool we can also uh, understand about uh, the level of understanding of the language we so Okay, so fantastic. So I think now, uh, all right. So I think we, we need to move on. It's, it's uh, now, Bapak and Ibu, uh, in, uh, Pak Daniel has just, uh, yesterday probably Pak Daniel posted a message at the, uh, what, at the uh, Telegram group that you have to prepare, uh, what do you call it? To prepare a short paragraph. Have you, Got the, your paragraph with you? Ibu and Bapak? Sudah siap ya dengan paragraf Ibu dan Bapak? Yes, I've sent it to the telegram already. Oh, you have sent it. Uh, can you now open your paragraph? And Pak Daniel has just uh, prepared a class at the Padlet. And let us uh, discuss your, your paragraph with uh, with our friends here. So uh, here we go, where is it? This I've tried few, I tried, uh, I've, I've tried few times to okay. join the telegram, but I couldn't make it. Oh, okay. So uh, forget about the telegram for now. Uh, let us go to this link. And then you can post your padlet, uh, your padlet, your paragraph over there. Can you now go to that one? Yeah, you can just a code, or you can just type the uh, link uh, in your browser, and then you can uh, post your paragraph. Yeah. Sorry, right. you can... Yes, Bagus. Uh, thank you. So, um, Bapak Ibu, uh, you can have a look at the chat box. I already typed the link for you there. Just hit the link and we will see uh, a Padlet board. Yeah. Have you learned uh, how to use Padlet, Bapak Ibu? I think whether it is uh, Jati, Pak Tokar, or Pak Bu yeah. Francis, have introduced sure. this, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so uh, uh, Daniel, I'll give you, you some time. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Marcus? Share your screen. Yes, a uh, minute. Uh, I'm heading to about that. Okay. <laughs> So uh, this oh. is the the port, the Padlet wall that we will use today. And uh, would you please write down your name, Bapa? Uh, something like this, for example, Daniel Widiatama. And then you can start posting your your paragraph here. You just copy from your yeah. uh, Microsoft Word and then paste it there. Just paste it there. Okay. Okay, so Captain Efran, Erfan is already uh, on Padlet. Nice. Oh. Okay. 
not necessarily to be uh, 10 sentences. <laughs> Six up to eight is okay, Bapak Ibu. Yeah, this is just a practice. Okay, so uh, as you know that we have five, five topics that you can choose. That yesterday I have uh, posted in Telegram group. So uh, you can choose one which fit uh, you best. Okay, uh, Mr. Erwan Shah has got the longest, longest. Yeah, the longest paragraph. Okay, let me ask Mr. Erwan Shah first. Um, so, how how much time did you did it take to uh, write this paragraph by Erwan Shah? I think it's only not more than 20 minutes. No more than 20 minutes. Great. Yeah. Okay. You have lots of things. Yeah, but, uh, uh, but I have to wait my kid sleeping when uh, when I start writing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that I, I did it. I did it in the middle of the night last night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right. What do you do at the middle of midnight? Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> As a student, sir. Sure. <laughs> Counting the stars, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the. All right. Should we wait for another two or three minutes, Pak Daniel, so that okay, everybody sir. can put mm -hmm. the, the paragraph? Yeah. Yeah, so once again, Bapak Ibu, uh, try your best and uh, you should not have such a long, long paragraph. And what is this? Uh, all right. Ini bahasa apa ini? Mantap ini. <laughs> Okay, it's one, two, three, four, five. Five participants, five people have already dropped down the paragraph. Okay, but Freddy, uh, let me ask you a question. Why did you choose this topic on your paragraph, Pat? Yes, sir. Uh, because uh, in my opinion, it's very interesting nowadays using a driverless, driver, okay. a driverless car. Are you into automotive? No, oh, no. <laughs> nah, I'm I mean, a big fan uh, of cartoon. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. 
if you do then uh, or if you are then Bakus could be your best friend because uh, mm. he's so into touring and uh, cars oh, and so on. Oh really sir? Uh, Mr. Freddy is a fan of uh, GRC. What's that bang? <laughs> Japan A and then cartoon. A you describe it by yourself. <laughs> yeah, so like and nature or everything whatever it is. <laughs> All right. We, <laughs> Shinchan is also uh, rated for 18 plus. Oh really, <laughs> sir? <laughs> right, yeah. It seems that Irvan has many collections of the 18 plus videos. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have. Uh, it talks What about the. Uh, it talks about the um, uh, how we debate. This is for 18 plus, right? Debate English yeah. debate or how to um, oh so many so many uh, 18 plus okay uh, it doesn't right. it doesn't mean that 18 plus is a porn but actually no. something that is not uh, suggested for under 18 okay cool so probably we have we need to have another session for Pak Irfan to share their videos of <laughs> 18 plus so yeah. somebody or uh, someday yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. let's agree to disagree. <laughs> An extended okay. version, yeah. <laughs> Out oh. of this workshop. Okay, so... <laughs> Alright, thank you for the ideas, Bapak Ibu. And I like them a lot. Now, we're waiting for you to uh, share your paragraph. Okay, so... Pak Agus just mentioned... Um, well, how you usually assess uh, your students' work. And now, you have your own work... Uh, here okay and let us see here that uh, let's pretend that you need somebody okay to help you assess your work okay so uh, let us begin with a concept of assessment yeah so uh, as you mentioned earlier the assessment could be used to improve your performance okay And uh, another way, uh, a way to do that is to give feedback that you usually also do that to your students. So you give feedback, you give comment to your students' work. That's Sorry, also part um, of assessment. Uh, Daniel. Yes, sir. Can I ask a question? Sure. Um, is this kind of like a feature Padlet mm -hmm. is only given to you to provide a uh, what I say, like, so a media for you to read it uh, paperless. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you just have to recheck the uh, writing tasks from your students manually. Or there are several items or features that you have here to help you down whenever you read all of the um, writing tasks that you got from the students. Mm. Uh, for example, Uh, probably underscore, uh, sorry, underline um, the red underline tools that will help you whenever you mm -hmm. have a uh, miss, what do we call it, uh, mistype uh, okay. words or uh, improper words or whatever it is. Okay, Thank good you. question, Papa. So uh, let me explain a little about uh, what Padlet is and what we can do with Padlet. So uh, I guess. Uh, well, correct me if I'm wrong. We have uh, these uh, features, okay? So we can edit uh, somebody's post like this, Bapa. Okay. So we can make it uh, bold. We can um, make it, uh, you know, italic, and then yeah, you can choose these features. Uh, as you are giving feedback to your students work. So we do and it manually? We do it manually. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. And okay. the good thing is, uh, later we will learn together how to, uh, how to assess students work, okay, using another application that Bagus has already prepared. Am I right, Bagus? Okay, so uh, Bang Irfan, uh, mm -hmm. so Padlet is actually for, this is like, Uh, like a discussion forum, but mm. it is displayed all like this on the board. It, this is exactly like what you have probably in, in what is it? 
in Moodle or in other learning management system. But what uh, Daniel is trying uh, to do with us together here is uh, after this, uh, let us see how we can improve uh, our friend's paragraph. So for example, Bang Ervan, you can have a look at Pak Sukiyo's uh, paragraph and then Bang Dimas can have a look at Freddy's and then probably uh, somebody can have a look at others and you can always give comments to uh, the paragraph. Okay, Instead let's, of... let's, let's imagine that uh, we have like, uh, how many participants do we have here? Uh, 24, 24 writings. Okay, so it's gonna be like, uh, let's calculate it, it's around one and a half until two hours of uh, checking the uh, writing. If it is no, like no, this, no, 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 no. What I mean is like, what if we have uh, more than 100 students that you uh -huh. are, you, and, and you ask them to send it here and then directly without any helping tools or features here, you are going to read them all. For me, it's going to waste a lot of time. But uh, let's see. If we have tools or features that help us here, oh, this one is not correct. Oh, this is uh, not the, the not the correct phrase. Or oh, this is fragment. This is uh, run on sentence. Whatever it is, so it will help us actually. But if we have like this, it's gonna take a lot of time. If it is twenty-four, it's okay. But if it is one hundred or more, it's gonna be doomsday. Thank you. Okay, fantastic, Pa Pa Erfan. So Pa Erfan is uh, what is it? Looking forward to that one, Daniel. But firstly, what we will do today is uh, you, we will let you see how you can give feedback to your friends' uh, paragraph. The idea is the peer reviewing. We are not giving the feedback. Teachers are not the only source of feedback. Feedback can be also uh, from the peers. I agree That's that what... your sentence coming to the uh, end that teachers should not spoon, uh, sorry, spoon feed the student. I agree with that one, thank you. Cool, fantastic, Pak Irfan. So again, using the idea of using this Padlet is to give uh, the opportunity for students to give back to their friends from different places like what we are doing. Do you, get, do you get a point? Can you make it simple, sir? Make it simple, the question. OK. OK, so we are going to have like a pair discussion. Uh, because everyone can access this and then right. we are going to correct each other like that because we no. believe that the teacher is not only the source of the uh, the whole content of lesson like that yes uh more or less like that but it's not always like that so uh, the point i i what i want uh, to see here daniel you can probably uh, continue with class teacher uh, how to pair the students uh, easily if you have a hundred or probably 150, how to make it, uh, how to pair them, Daniel? Okay, Bagus, thank you. And also Pa uh, Erwan. Well, this is such a warm discussion. Okay, <laughs> nice. so uh, I like the way you share your ideas and- Don't, don't get confused, we have Erfan and Erwan here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Papa. Oh, yeah, you have Erfan Shah also. <laughs> yeah, Erwan uh, Shah. No, no, Erfan, not with Erfan? Shah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can call it Mr. R then. <laughs> okay, sir. Right. Uh, Pak Agus is right. So we are actually entering a session called peer feedback. So uh, instead of giving students a comment, uh, I mean, instead of on the, on, on the teachers who can give students comment, but now we will see what students can do, okay, to uh, their friends' work, okay, because uh, they can also get uh, feedback from their friends either and this is very helpful all right so let me take you to 
uh, class dojo. So uh, you can try later. This is uh, a simple way to uh, spread, uh, to categorize your uh, students into several groups. So what I'm doing right now is to have your um, to have your own names here that I already gathered. Okay. All right. Of course, I'm not going to, we are not going to uh, discuss this in details, but we are telling you that uh, we have this feature later if you want to use this. Okay. So first you need to create a class. Okay. And this is, uh, these are all uh, the class population. Okay. And now in these applications, we have a toolkit, okay, and I'm going to make uh, this class into a group of two. So this is what we have. Okay, can you find your name uh, on this list, Bapak Ibu? Yeah, I'm the one with yeah. the one eye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not me. <laughs> okay, but yeah, they, they look strange, but uh, it's just make make fun of uh, the figure. So um, please kindly, okay, find yourself and find your partner here and look at again on the Padlet. Okay, let's go here. Okay, and when you already have a peer with you, that's uh, gonna be your friend, you need to give your feedback too. Okay, so for example, let me find your, uh, I just, uh, okay, Ibu Yuni. So Ibu Yuni's uh, pair is Bapa Agus. Okay, let me find. Bapak Yuni, Bapak Yuni. Oh, Bapak Yuni, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, is your name here? Okay. Is Papa Uni here? No. No. Not yet. Not yet. I'm here, sir. With, uh, oh, okay. okay. So. Okay. So, uh, you can start giving a comment to uh, Mr. Agus' work, Papa, and also the other, oh. right? If you think that you have no, uh, or your friend is not here, okay, so you can choose anyone that has no partner yet. Is it clear? Is my instruction clear, Bapak Ibu? Clear enough. Okay, after, nice. After we give comment, mm -hmm. is there any feedback from the one who will give the comments? Yeah, yeah, of course. So. Uh, Papa Uni will give comment to Mr. Agus' work uh, and mm -hmm. the other way around. Pa Agus will give comment to Mr. Uh, Uni and so on. Pak Freddy will give feedback to uh, Mr. Limto and then also Mr. Limto will give comment to Pak Freddy's work and so on. Okay, so let me give you yes, sir. two minutes. Yeah. Two minutes to give comments to your friends work. Okay, make your comments short and also uh, comprehensible. Let us know if you find uh, an issue with uh, when giving a comment. Yeah, so once again, drop your comments on a comment column. Okay. And don't forget to write your name above your comment.
Okay, so I can find here uh, on Ibu Ayu's work, somebody without name here anonymously. Uh, there is a comment uh, telling make it long paragraph. Okay, so for this comment, uh, I wish you can give uh, your name here, Papa Ibu. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Daniel. Yes, sir. Daniel, if we do comment to uh, some someone else writing, mm -hmm. right? So we have to avoid the try to underestimate the writing first, mm -hmm. right? And the second one, the second one. Uh, do you think it is very useful for both both of us without? The teacher, you know, the teacher, uh, uh, what we call it, the teacher, see our activities. So there is, there will be, there should be a teacher that will correct our mistake. Yeah. So, of course, uh, as I said before, this is peer feedback. So uh, the one that, that, that does this is not the teacher, but the student to the student work. Okay, but later mm. when you have a session, okay, with your uh, teacher, the teacher can give a general feedback, offer the whole uh, feedback given to uh, each other. So, uh, mm. and by doing so, uh, like Pak uh, pa Irvan, Irvan said yeah, earlier, how if we have so many uh, students yeah. work around, yeah. So we can actually make use of students' feedback to give a, a comment to their uh, peer. Okay, so this will save uh, our time a lot as a teacher, and it will enhance the students' uh, you know critical thinking as well in uh, seeing their friends' work. Okay, so this is the power of uh, peer feedback. Okay, so. Well, thank you uh, for the question, uh, Papa. Uh, for, and now I see that the comments uh, here are growing. Okay. Yeah, for Pa Ricky, you got a comment from someone? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, again, I didn't see any name here. That would be better if uh, you keep... That's mine, that's my name. Okay, Pak Irfan, great. Okay, As you so... You pair us all already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so once again, you can give any comments, any feedback uh, uh, on the... Uh, on the on your friend's work here. Yeah? That could be uh, on the ideas, on the grammar and and so on yeah okay okay so Bagus. all right so one thing i want to uh highlight with the padlet here is that if you uh, but daniel can you go back to your padlet sorry uh cool so ibu and papa uh, as you can see the commands given by the peers are very various or varied very much. So this is because we did on purpose that we do not give any clue what to comment. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so that is normal. That what will happen if teachers do not give any clue what to comment. That will be different if you can probably hi, uh, give the uh, what is it, the pointers, please uh, read your friend's paragraph and focus on A, B, C. Probably the comment will, uh, or the feedback will look uh, more tidy in terms of uh, the topic that uh, they are commenting. So uh, this is one thing that uh, we need to remember. Uh, when you give uh, the opportunity to your students to give it back to your uh, to their friends, uh, uh, at least we have the pointers, we have the sign, we have the, uh, yes, the pointers what uh, to comment. 
That, so that's uh, the point I want to highlight here because we have uh, we did it on purpose actually, and to show you uh, what happened, and and you can see that everybody probably has different point of view of giving uh, the feedback to the paragraph. Or okay. do you have okay. any concern about this? Yeah, uh, can I give a word? Sure. Uh, talking about this one, actually, this is a very useful, um, what would you call, a media. But in some cases, uh, let me ask you, Pak Agus or Mas Daniel, have you ever thought students with many numbers of them what i mean is like uh, there are many like more, more than 100 and then in one time you have to collect their writing tasks and then you mm. are only given one day only to finish them mm. all and then you have mm. to calculate and measure or whatever it is you have yes. to give them a score and then we have the bandwidth here uh Ranging uh, range from four to six no, or four no. to seven. Uh, if we use this kind of tools, yes, this one is a very fascinating, fascinating way to get the uh, writing from the student. But I do believe that if we have like this, and then you are going to open it to the student, student has the free access to get, oh, there are two tendencies that they will play in this uh, in this media, actually. The first, they will start to admire each other, uh, sorry, type, uh, typing. What we, we're not talking about writing, right? Because we type, actually. Yeah. And then, oh, you have a very lovely paragraph. Oh, what a poor paragraph you have. Or second, they, most of the time, they will feel like, Oh, my paragraph is not really good. My friends, they have very high level of uh, whatever it is. And then they are starting to lose their confidence, actually, if in my opinion. And then again, if we have like more than 100 here, 100 students, it's going to be very hard for us to collect them and then give them the scores exactly at the same time. And you are only given one day. What I suggest is if we can have features that help us to collect or correct the, uh, the mistakes or the error that we have in the writing itself, it's going to be great. But starting from the beginning until now, I, I haven't seen anything, this kind of features. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, Pak Ervan. Yeah, um, we are also uh, having the same concern because uh, right now today uh, I have uh, a class containing of 120 students and I have a writing class as well. So Good. let me not, uh, let us not share uh, the secret to you right now. Oh, I want that secret actually. Yeah. Okay, you need to, we need to go slowly because uh, what we are practicing right now is how to provide a tool uh, to let students give uh, their friends feedback as a part of assessment. And oh, you so might... you give us the position as we uh, we are as a student, not as a teacher. Exactly. So uh, you are now uh, as a student that give uh, that gives a comment to your friend as a student as well. Okay, and uh, we will explain uh, later uh, why we give uh, such a training like this. Okay. Okay, I want that part as a teacher. Sure. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's all right, but so sometimes we need to we need to feel uh, we need to be in a position of a student. So uh, later, then we can assign them, and we will we can feel how it feels to be a student that gives comment to uh, others' work and. Like Pak Agus said, if we have such a various comment, we have no border yet. It's why we need actually a tool to help to guide us to give such a uh, impactful comment. Okay. And right. uh, after having your comments to your friend's work, we probably have to uh, go to this question. Okay, so 
All right, Pak Daniel, uh, probably we can, uh, I, I don't want Pak Ervan to wait very longer. <laughs> so it seems that- Thank you uh, very much. For that. So uh, again, Pak Ervan with Padlet, we mm -hmm. are giving the opportunity for peers to give it back to their friends. So actually uh, you as a student give your feedback to your friends as a student. So everybody in this room, our students, kecuali Pak Daniel. <laughs> so, uh, so that's the point. So now, let us, uh, Daniel, can I share my screen to the, uh, now? Sure so this is uh, what Pak uh, Ervan or Bang Ervan has been waiting. So here, uh, let me share this. Where is it? Okay, this one. So you have seen my screen over here. We have virtual writing tutor. And if, for example, I have, uh, let's say, uh, okay. Wow, this one is interesting. Right? So yeah. then, uh, where is it? Okay. So I just copy and paste. But Bang Ervan, it seems, uh, co I hope copying and pasting is quite easy for yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, like so this. let's say, let, let me just show you, this is like a short demo. And then you have this one, for example, word count. And at the bottom, you have this one, okay? And later, we you can also check the grammar. Then it, it will have uh, the comment like this. Is it, is it free? Free, but totally okay. free. What we bring for you is all free. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And all right. And also the score essay, for example, like this. So if it is an opinion essay or argument essay, you can just click here and check. And uh, it will give you this. Ha, huh, the score is only 27.5, like this, because you have the feedback also over here. See, uh, all right, so uh, the paper aims to analyze. So the book printed here is the copy of the student's work. And then the red one here is the feedback from the computer. So uh, this is actually uh, designed for students to do the self-assessment. But you, or but we as teachers, and also make this as a, a, a tool to help us check our students. This is uh, one of the tools that we bring you uh, today. And even you can check uh, the, what is it? The punctuation. Yes. Um, can we okay. add more, uh, is, is it like fixed features or can we add more um, parameter here to set up the uh, scoring? Uh, what is it? This one is pre-made by the computer, by, by, okay, by so this, the, this one is AI. Yes, and okay. later, later Daniel uh, has uh, something that we can customize that one part later on. Okay. I'm expecting the customized version one then. Yes, <laughs> okay. So like this part, you can also customize this also too. And oh, that's great. You, if you don't want to check the academic vocabulary profile, then you can just uncheck this one, for example. Uh, but if you want to check uh, the cliche, then you can also uh, check and uncheck that one. So wow. here, over, uh, so. Oh, this one has an IELTS academic writing task rubric as well. Yes. Is, is it kind of like parameters here? Yeah, so if you do, for example, like this, let us see this part, uh, okay, so, let us see this, yeah. Okay. And what will the computer say? So you have coordinating conjunctions, you have the score over there. Great. Great. Okay. And you have the feedback. Great. The length of the sentence doesn't that, vary. That, that was I was asking for. We need this. <laughs> okay, I know, but that's why I, I keep it uh, yeah. until, uh, until now. And then this one is to help you uh, with the uh, IELTS. It's about the thesis. Maybe okay. Lieutenant Freddy want to 
have the uh, one more than 100 students checking probably later on later on freddy <laughs> oh he's not here he's not right. here Okay. Oh, wow. it's, such a, it's such a great application, I think. The virtual, the, virtual writing. Mm -hmm. Virtual writing tutor. Okay. okay. So look at over here, Pa. You have very uh, detailed uh, feedback mm -hmm. in a very short time. Oh. Like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And let us keep, click this. But you have to look, uh, log in. But this is free. Membership is always uh, free, I think. Now uh, you can uh, download the feedback and also and so forth. Okay. See, uh, even pa, if you want, you can check your, what is it, uh, speech here. Okay, cool. Like so that's speech. one thing. And then uh, I, I think this is the best time for you to try. And how long can we give them to try, Pa Daniel? It is uh, 8.43, about 10 minutes, Papa. 10 minutes, I So guess. you yeah. can check. You can copy yeah. and 10 process. minutes. Yeah. All right. OK, so I think you can go to. Uh, writing tutorial. Yeah, I already typed down the address, the address the link on the, the chat box. Yeah. OK, cool. Just so you. thank you, Daniel. Yeah. All right, like that one. If you have problems, uh, please let us know so I can come up to you. Thank you, Pagus, for satisfying my... <laughs> Writing tools. My pleasure. So, Pak Irfan is no longer curious, right? Okay, I'm After orgasm already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, this, well. is, this is what, what we need, actually. Mm -hmm. All right. And we still have some, another couple of uh, tools, Pak. Mm -hmm. oh, really? Pa, really? Uh, Pak Agus? Yes, you speak all right, sir. Yeah, my score is 74 on the assignment for the opinion essay. Fantastic. Okay, okay. you can keep your score, Pak. Or maybe think... you can. Pak Agus, Mas Daniel? Print screen. Yeah. Print screen. Sure, you can do that either. Yes, Pak Irfan. Continue. Pak Agus, Mas Daniel. Pak Irfan, please. Does this virtual writing tutor have a feature that can? Uh, detect if there is or there are plagiarism? Uh, we have another tool for that, Pa. Oh, thank you so much. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> That's what we need. Just imagine that you have like, like 107 writings and then suddenly you realize that there are more than five students are having the writing which are basically almost the same. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And let's have so we, we do have. Okay. Bagus. Yes, Ricky. You got to give us all the application about this. It's very useful yes. for us. Build them all. Build them all. <laughs> yes, all right. Go, go. Uh, <laughs> okay. May I be excused for a while? Go on. So, yes, I want to check whether there is a plagiarism or not. So we are come to Grammarly. One of the one the one of the apps is Grammarly, but there are many others, Pa Kia. Okay. I love you, Pa Irfan. I'm here. I just <laughs> went to my other rooms and then tried to oh touch some hand sanitizer. You love Pa Irfan. Mm -hmm. So, oh, have you all uh, attained your score, Bapak Ibu, using the okay, virtual? I haven't done it. Okay, so. But here, when uh, mm -hmm. we depend entirely on the technology, 
when we write, uh, we may blah, 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 blah. Actually, this is the model, but this is the feedback. Uh, we should write me because this is also the name of the month. So we have to capital M. Class online. Sorry, did I, did I say it out loud? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hear your voice. That's okay. Go on, Pak Gio. Okay, when we can, uh, when we depend entirely on the technology, because uh, we know that uh, as like as uh, the tool, it doesn't have the same, also it doesn't have the culture. And sometimes yeah. when we write, for example, we may at any time easily switch to the channel, blah, 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 blah. Like we actually may here as a, we use as a model, but uh, the feedback here, it is uh, written that may the, from uh, the computer, from the technology, it uh, read that this is uh, the name of the month. So uh, oh. just, uh, we should write may by using capital letter of M. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's that's the algorithm, Pak. Mm. Yeah, you have still to check yeah. that one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so from here, that's you may learn uh, that we should not always okay. uh, depend yeah. uh, to. We the can thought. depend. Uh, we cannot depend entirely on uh, yeah. the technology. Yeah, that's why uh, teachers uh, is really full. So we can use it the blended learning. So we can use technology and also sometimes we need uh, our idea and also about uh, related mm -hmm. to our culture and also the context mm -hmm. of our culture. Yeah. Perfect, Pak. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, shall we continue we with a... the reflections questions, Pak Agus? Uh, we... Now, before, before we call that, Pak Daniel, I want to, uh, before I forget, mm -hmm. so let us make uh, Bang Ervan orgasm again. <laughs> are you, are you going to make a double? He has got the orgasm, Pak uh, Ervan, yeah. So, uh, I, can, I can make it uh, one more. Thank so, you right, so, so where is my Zoom over here? Ibu and Bapak, please go to the link. I can, uh, I just post. Uh, at the chat box. And please post your paragraph over there. And let us see what uh, this app can do. If any one of you would like to share your screen, that will be highly appreciated. Yeah. Rather than I just always uh, show my screen here. Okay. Here uh, to tell you the truth that I really like learning grammar, but got the grammar check feedback. I found a lot of mistakes from here. For example, this is possessive pronoun. It's programs because uh, we have more than one program so possessed by it. Uh, mm -hmm. The suggestion here just it programs. It's like as uh, the the. Okay, form. we are now having English lesson from Mr. Sukia. A lot. Yeah. I got a lot here. <laughs> Oh, cool. fantastic. Yeah. If when, but, all right, Pak Kio, Bang Irfan, and others, I just post uh, a link at the chat box. Oh, this really? To check whether our students will wow, be from checker. some other sources. Oh, okay. And yeah, yeah, you can have a look. Uh, five minutes probably before we move on. Uh, uh, could I share my screen here? Okay, I would like to share my screen just to check uh, uh, about uh, the feedback from these apps that uh, I got, especially for my writing. Uh, yeah. Ibu Ayu, you do not need to log in. Oh, plagiarism checker. Thank you. Okay, can anybody uh, see my screen here? Yes, okay. Pak so Pak Kio is still at the okay. writing tutor. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Yeah, this is just uh, to check. For example, about the year, it's okay. Huh? What should we do next? After we copy and paste the uh, text. Okay. Just click the check button. Check. Uh, cannot, cannot find it. 
Grammar check, uh, check plagiarism, check plagiarism. Thank you very much. More grammar checks, anyone. Okay. Check plagiarism, then then it will. So we can uh, also check plagiarism. And, but when, yeah. as I uh, check for plagiarism, and then I come to the Grammarly apps here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but... Right. Yeah. Because okay, let 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 us talk to Pak Pak Kio first. Pak Kio again, uh, because this is writing tutor is uh, working probably with Grammarly. So and then and I believe you have been familiar with Grammarly. And at the chat box, I have just posted another website that is also available for free for us to check whether our students copy from some other sources. Uh, please have a look, Pak. Okay, so should I stop my sharing here? Uh, right, I think everybody has got the point or uh, anyone has any feedback to Pak Sukiyo, please, before we move to Dubli Chaka. Carry on, sir, probably. If not, then uh, probably Pak Kio, you can uh, stop your screen share and okay. let us uh, let us try Dubli Chaka. Duplicate checker, okay. And the link is there at the chat box uh, so that you can try. Pak Agus? Go on, Pak. Go on. Uh... Like I said before, if I have like more than 100 uh, writing and we want to check whether they are having the plagiarism or not, can we store this, sorry, that uh, 107 writing tasks using the virtual, uh, sorry, using the, the Padlet or the virtual writing tutors we collect the data and then we put them into this uh, checker. Uh, what do you call it, that one? Yeah. Dubli checker. Okay. Right. So once again, pa Bang Irfan, uh, Padlet has uh, different uh, what is it functions uh, from uh, writing tutor, and mm -hmm. also Dubli checker is also has different purpose of uh, the previous apps. So uh, we use Padlet especially to give opportunity for students to give their feedback and mm -hmm. then for us to see how uh, our students can help each other, how our students can learn from each other. So that's okay. from Padlet. Okay, wow. and then from the writing tutor, if you introduce this earlier to your students, I believe they can check their own writing later, mm. yes? And then uh, again and again, with the feedback from the writing tutor, they can improve themselves. And then send your, uh, their writing, final writing to you. And then if you are curious with the originality, then you can go to this uh, Dupli Checker. Ah, see, not okay. always, uh, you do not need to always copy and paste. Uh, Dupli Checker has uh, this one, uh, uh, upload the files and let Dupli Checker check the content of the file. And make sure the file is in docs.txt or uh, rich, uh, rich text format. That's uh, so, Checker. So we, can store, so we can store the previous writing task and then it will be kept uh, in the clouds or whatever it is? I don't know whether it is saved in the cloud or not but uh what Dupli checker can check is a uh, file one file by one file mm. you can just try uh let me just uh, share yeah, my yeah, screen. Try. i just uh me... my cell phone you have so, this, uh, so start yeah, for I, free i have okay Anyone, anyone I just copy will paste it. Oh, oh, you just, okay, you just copied it. Okay, 
So uh, actually, you you can upload your file, or yeah, you can upload your files. And even if you, for example, uh, let your students post the writing uh, as a uh, blog post, uh, you can also put the URL and then let uh, to be checker check for the similarity. This is quite helpful for me uh, or for any institutions uh, rather than subscribing for Turnitin. But uh, our campus is subscribing for Turnitin and it costs us a lot. And actually it is similar to this. So we All use right. the free tools here? Yeah? yeah, this is totally free. Uh, no, not totally free. So the free version is available for us until 1,000 uh, words. If you need oh, more, yeah, 1, then, yeah. uh, you can go to uh, premium or the pro version. So this is uh, the maximum of 1,000 words. Yeah. Exactly, yes, because it is free. So we can paste, uh, copy and paste. Yeah. So the total word here is uh, 647 mine. Okay. But we do not okay. need to choose uh, the file. Yeah. And then no. check your Yeah. Can you just again share the uh, screen, Pak Kia? Oh, yeah. Let me check. Yeah. <laughs> Put here. All right. Yes. And uh, yeah. Text already text open. Text. And then we do not need to choose the file because already yeah. paste here. Yes. And then check plagiarism. Okay. None. <laughs> <clears throat> Still thirteen percent. Reading. That will depends on uh, the quality of the connection. Yeah, whether the, the internet connection is stable or unstable. Maybe Mr. Ion would like to give it a try. Or anyone has finished 100% checking? Yeah, I've done it in my cell phone. Oh, it's faster on your cell phone, Pak. Yes. That's fun. Okay. Mr. Ion, what about the lamp chop? Lamp chop, that sounds very... <laughs> that sounds very cholesterol. <laughs> And uh, un unless you go to the lab, you will not get any cholesterol, but don't worry. <laughs> oh, Mr. Ian got uh, uh, internet connection problem currently. He's so, just yeah. pretending. Oh, oh. really? <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, okay. congratulations, <laughs> Pak Sukia. Yeah. Uh, scroll down, Pak Kia. Result oh. found one. You have three percent, Pak, plagiarism. Yeah, that's perfect, Pak. Only one. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. So, similarity is the percent. So, you see, Ibu and Bapa, uh, this is one alternative, free alternative to uh, the paid or subscribed, uh, uh, what is it, similarity checker you can use with your uh, students. I think we do not have much time, but Daniel, we can move on to okay. another tool uh, that we can okay, let, give to Bapak Ibu. Okay, let, uh, we let can me prolong the time sharing. for this. Okay, <laughs> let me stop my sharing. Right, thank you, Pak Gia. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Pak uh, Okay, I thought everybody has just got a, you know, it's like enjoying this new application shared by Pak Agus. And now we shall move on to the next chapter of this uh, workshop. 
So at first, uh, we learned how to uh, let students to give their feedback to uh, the other students uh, under peer feedback uh, framework. And now you just compared with how if they can do uh, self-assessment using um, Dupli Checker or the virtual writing tutor. And Papa Epu, of course, has an idea uh, which one later you can choose to give students um, improvement, yeah. But once again, uh, our focus here is, uh, of course, how to give um, improvement on their work, not necessarily their uh, final score. We can aim that, but uh, in the ongoing process of uh, teaching and learning, feedback and ongoing assessment is uh, more important. Okay, now, uh, as you found earlier that we have no guidance uh, in giving assessment to uh, our work or to our students' work. How if uh, we share to you a free tool that you can use to design, okay, to design a tool that you can use to uh, guide you give scores. Can somebody guess what tool is it? What kind of instrument that we need? No idea. If we have no idea uh, on which component we would like to aim, we would like to target, then we must need one instrument for that. We have the uh, bandwidth score here, actually. Okay. To assess the writing itself. Yes. Or you, we can, you can call that, start it with R. Diawali dengan R. 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 Racism. <laughs> Racism. <laughs> This is our one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is rubric, Bapak Ibu. Yeah, oh, it's, it's right. rubric. Yes, yeah. thank okay. you very much. Now, uh, allow me to share to you. Okay, uh, do you all have Gmail account, Bapak Ibu? Yeah, I do believe. Okay, so let us now go to uh, our Gmail account. Okay, we will use. Google Drive for this time. Oh, Google Drive. Okay. Yes. Okay. So first of all, please open your Gmail. Okay. And then. You can share your screen, Pak Daniel, so uh, everybody can see what you are doing. Okay. <laughs> yes, correct, Pak Agus. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. Gmail. Yes, sir. If you already arrived there, okay, then you can take a look at uh, the right corner. Right corner? Above? And on the top. Yeah, on top? on the top. Yeah, on top. That has the symbol of a pen? Exactly. Okay. Okay, and then go to, writing, uh, go to drive, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I cannot share my screen here uh, due to a confidential issue right here. Yes. <laughs> and then go to Google Docs. Okay, I can start uh, showing my screen right now, I guess. Google Drive, okay. Yeah. All right, sir. Okay. Right, so first you need to open Gmail and then go to uh, the top right corner, okay, and hit the Pattern that shows you I... some features of Gmail. Okay. Sudah sampai di sini, Bapak Ibu? Are you all here already? Yeah, Google Drive. Okay. Since I use the uh, cell phone, probably it's a little bit different. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. But it should work the same way, yeah.
Would you mind replying from the beginning? Sure. So please go to Gmail, your Gmail yeah. account. Okay. And then if you are using laptop, then go uh, and see the top corner on your right. Yeah. And you will have uh, a button that shows you some features on it. Ada titik-titik jumlahnya sembilan. Yeah. It's just next to the grid. Yeah. yeah it's, it's like next to uh, the icon. Yeah. Next to say? our account. Yeah. Next to your uh, our account, account. icon. Yeah. 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 On the left of our account. Yeah. Is it okay. an attempt to write a new email? Yes, sir. And, oh, okay. Not email, this the document. Google Docs, yeah. Oh, okay. And go to uh, G Drive. G Drive, where is it? Mm -hmm. G Drive. Google Drive. Drive. Drive, Drive. Usually we just Drive. Yes. Okay, wait a second. Sorry, if you are using a cell phone, it just come up like this and then without any features that you have already told us. Oh, okay. Right, uh, now I just changed uh, to another email. Uh, wait a minute. I'll be just doing it quickly. Drive. Okay. Can you see my screen? Nah, yes. if, if you already arrived to your uh, Gmail account, then uh, you will see here grids, yeah? Oh. Then click this, and oh. you have I have drive here, okay? Mm -hmm. Right? I, I guess everybody is with me now, okay? And then uh, just click that, and yeah, go to new document new document right as simple as that okay all right new document yeah once again go to uh new and then google docs here okay is everything good okay okay now, uh, wait, let me change into my, uh, okay. Oops. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, oops, should be right here. So we have RDO from University of Ahmad, of Ahmad Jaya, Yogyakarta. Okay, so let me continue, Bapak Ibu. I'm sorry, I have to change uh, my email. Now let's go to add-ons here, okay. And then press get add-ons. Add-on, get add-on. Uh -huh. Okay, and find a new application called Orange Slice. Orange one, switch one. Oh, 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 oh. Orange slice. Okay. Have you got it? Teacher of bricks. Yeah. We yeah. are a then, uh, Please press, uh, please choose teacher rubric. And then install that. Yeah. 
because I already installed it. Install. Then yeah, install. Then you will you will find a button here, right? Install. Mm -hmm. Could you do that successfully, Bapak Ibu? That's it. This is not gone. Okay. So get add-ons and then uh, and then now if you already install orange slice then this will appear on your screen like this. Okay. Can you follow me? Uh -huh. Add on done. Mm -hmm. What are we trying to do? Okay, so have you all installed Orange Slice successfully? Uh, yeah, as it is already installed, and then what should we okay, do? Okay, all right, thank you. So now we are going to, uh, well, these applications will let us create a rubric. Okay, we can customize the items, yeah, manually. But uh, the good thing here is in order to set the student's grade, we can just let Orange Slice do it automatically. But uh, if you want to have uh, the pre-designed, okay, pre-designed rubric provided by uh, Orange Slice, then you can go to, okay, first, please follow my instruction or you can just watch me first. Here you have uh, ascending or descending, yeah. If uh, you start from A, B, C, then then uh, A here is um, the list, yeah, and then B, C, C must have the uh, the highest score. So first of all, we have the performance level as as a rubric uh, normally has. Okay, we have uh, performance level. Okay. As you can see here, awesome, average, uh, more, please, and so on. And I suggest you to create your own. Okay, just click that. And these are all the features that Orange Slice provides. Yeah, for example, uh, for a writing rubric, they suggest ideas sentence fluency, vocabulary, conventions, organization, presentation, and so on as the components. But for today, we will um, create our own rubric. Okay, and then I got this one. Okay, already. And then let's create a rubric. Okay, so you're supposed to have this one, Bapak Ibu. Okay, so you already have the table with you and now I'm going to share to you okay a rubric that we have uh, provide okay so would you please go to your chat box okay and please download the rubric that we provide and we will move that into our orange slice. Okay. Is it clear? In the chat box, what do we have here? Okay. Bitly rubric our Is it accessible? Mm -hmm. It seems that the link is not working, Pak Daniel. Oh, okay. Let me... Something went wrong here. Okay. Something went wrong. Let me share to you the working link uh, without Bitly, I guess. Uh... 
Oke, okay. wait, wait, wait. Pak Sumaryadi, how are you today, Pak Sumaryadi? Oke, okay. so please go to the chat box and I just share to you another uh, file. Is it there, Bapak Ibu? Yes. Perfect. Oke, okay. so let let us show you how to create the rubric. Oke, okay. using orange slice. Right. So at first, you need to download first uh, the file that we just shared to you. Okay. All right. Please download the file first, and then okay. Do we always need the Gmail to make this kind of uh, rubric. Yes, Papa. And then we have to connect it with Orange Slicer. Yes. Uh, do we don't have any open source website that actually you can do it directly, and then you it will it will give you some parameters in uh, assessing the uh, writing task. Uh, for for other websites, uh, they are not customizable, I guess. Oh. Or we haven't found it yet, but. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay, but uh, this one is quite uh, applicable. Okay, so let me share to you what uh, I got, and you can just follow me first. Uh, that's okay. Okay. I will, so... I will ask Pak Suki again after this. <laughs> All right. So, uh -huh. here uh, this is the time for us after we have. Uh, the table here, then we can start pasting our rubric into orange slice. Okay. As we have three performance level. Okay, just paste it down here. Okay. Much more. Like this. Then we have uh, the descriptors, yeah, for each uh, component. Okay, so you need to decide what skill you would like to assess here. The ideas, okay, and then the paragraph organization, suggested by the previous uh, rubric, and then uh, sentences. Okay. And let us see, uh, maybe uh, vocabulary. Yeah. It's quite fast, yeah, if you uh, get used to it. Okay. Right. So we are good to go. And then after that, the next thing is uh, let us be it like that analysis. And then uh, I consider that for not yet at standard, I will give this one point. And then for this one is um, two point, and then this is uh, three point. So uh, since we have one, two, three, four, five, so five times three multiplied by uh, three, one, then we two, have- So 15, uh, yes. 15, uh, yeah. And then the performance point here is, uh, of course, this is uh, one, this is, uh, well, I, I have to delete this one first. I'm sorry. Delete column aja, Pak. Uh, okay. 
do uh, two columns. All right. So uh, one, and then this is two, this is three. Three. Okay. And all right. Then the grids. Uh, wait a second. Shall I? Let's see. Okay. So this is what you need to do whenever you uh, want to create your student's work. Okay. For example, this is Mr. John. Okay. Right, so based on your observation of her work, of his work, then the ideas is approaching to the standard, and then the paragraph organization is, uh, it meets the standard, and then the sentences uh, are complete, uh, but very few uh, errors. The vocabulary is approaching to the standard, and grammar hasn't met the standard yet. Okay, and then we can proceed the grade. Okay, so, oh, it's a chest that we have to fill in once again. Maybe there was an error previously. Okay, so let's get it finished. Process the grade. And the magic happens. Okay. So out of 15 uh, scores, then this student got 10 points. 10 points, 67%. Yeah. Okay, so this will let us uh, create once again a customable uh, rubric on our own. Okay, if we think that we are not satisfied with the uh, uh, other applications that provide us feedback, uh, rubric, and so on. So uh, again, for me, this is very helpful. Okay, uh, we do not need to calculate. We do not need to. Uh, to provide uh, another, uh, you know, it's like to waste our paper, right? Okay, we, just, we can just use this and copy this to another page. Okay, then uh, if we have 10 students, then we have 10 rubric like this. Okay. So happy trying, Bapak Ibu. Uh, I guess we have five minutes left. So this is uh, the last, I guess, uh, or do you still have one more application to share, Pakus? We have only five minutes left. Okay, so let's let's okay. just write it up. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think uh, Ibu and Baba, what Daniel has just said is uh, an add-on to the Google document, and that will help us create a rubric and help us create or make uh, the score for our students' uh, writing. So uh, the descriptors and also the categories are all customizable, and that will depend on uh, the categories that you, you will assess. You need to assess from uh, your students' writing. So I believe uh, on the first try, it's, it, it seems that uh, it looks uh, very uh, complicated, but after you try the second, uh, I believe you will be familiar with uh, Mr. Tour. There are many uh, tools uh, in, in Google document, uh, what do you call it, to help us teachers and also students make the self-assessment for their writing. So, uh, but Daniel has just shown uh, how to install the add-on, and I believe uh, you can do that later on with your own way. And what I want you uh, to suggest, or what I want you to show you, uh, I, what I want to show here is, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, I myself have uh, many add-on here in my, in my what? in my Google document. Uh, let me just show you and you can, I don't, I will not uh, show how to install that because I believe you can do that, but I will share 
what is my favorite ibu dan bapak so here we go where is mine here let me do this okay ibu and bapak the first one pak sugiyo has been familiar with with what uh, grammarly and what is my favorite is uh, two at the bottom ibu bapak as I, later after this session uh, you can install yourself and have a look at what the magic uh, it can do so or i think i can give you uh, what is it uh, a show here uh, let me go back like this ibu bapak now this one for example uh, i can check with this uh, pro writing uh, this one and click the summary report the computer will give you the report like that very fantastic to me and you can click over here what happens why is it scored only 63 uh, it gives us the feedback of uh, like this so this is very encouraging uh, for our students to learn more again uh, please feel free to explore that's the first one I, I will recommend and this is again available for free and uh, the second one is the SAS writing reviser and oh, right. you, and it grammar yeah it, it, it's like uh, grammarly but it is more it gives us more more what uh, more materials like it what is nice from this is that it gives us the uh, the what is it the materials it doesn't uh, correct by themselves but if it gives us uh, uh, an opportunity whether we will agree with that or not like this very thin and very it seems that this is very vague Gak perlu, katanya, gitu. and you, if you click about wordiness for example it gives us this one nah expression that can be cut without changing the meaning okay ibu bapak uh, i will not make you stay uh, longer be because i believe you have any other assignments to do please your... prolong <laughs> uh, 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 what is it i believe there are many other things interesting tools uh, available for free if you can explore uh, you can uh, you can help yourself but if you can if you have uh, difficult before we move have you uh, what is it? Fill in your presence, please. Mm -hmm. Please mention the demo. Uh, Ibu Baba, before we, we end the sessions, can you please, uh, what is it, mark your presence uh, in this link? Ibu Baba, please go to this link. Already shared in chat box, Bagus. Oh, you have. Okay. I'm cool. just waiting for you to uh, to end your session. I mean, uh, right. I need to wait for you to make a break. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, make it uh, mark your your present here, and I think uh, yes, Daniel. I think we have uh, shared enough information with uh, all Papa Ibu in this room, and I hope that will be uh giving us more opportunity to learn more okay ibu and bapak that's all for from me and before we end probably pak daniel what if we uh have a photo or something what do you think yeah i guess uh, uh just few words from me before we end the session well bapak ibu let me uh get you to a conclusion that uh, actually Okay, from uh, all of our presentation today, uh, we are trying to to look up to this uh, framework, yeah, formative assessment, yeah. So uh, we would like to introduce this uh, as uh, we sometimes forgot that we need to give students uh, more uh, guidance, more uh, feedback. Uh, as uh, in the middle of the process, not at the end of uh, of the uh, learning process. So um, 
I hope that with all the tools, the applications that we share today, uh, we can use those tools uh, to improve students' uh, performance okay, in the middle of the process. And if you wish to have them as a mean, as a tool to uh, define their uh, final score, that's also going to be possible. Okay, so uh, thank you very much, Bapak Ibu, for uh, having us this morning. And um, I guess this is the end of our session. Let's have the photo session together. And I hope all that we shared today will be beneficial <laughs> for you, for your um, class, and to create better future. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Okay. Daniel. Thank Agus. you, Ibu. Yeah. Everyone. And, and don't forget to uh, fill in the attendance list. And before we uh, close this class, let's have photo session together. One, two, three. Okay, wait, but Daniel, uh, somebody has not uh, opened the camera. Yep. Oh, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, please, so, Pak Riki, please everybody Ibu uh, turn the, your camera on before we uh, leave. Okay, Pak Ustio, Bu, uh, Pak Sudarto. Okay, I guess. Uh, yeah, oh, quick. okay. Your son said understood. Okay, All right. One, two, three. Okay, boleh dengan seperti ini ya. Show me your power. One, two, three. Your thumb, please. Okay. Okay. I'll be missing you, Bapak Ibu. Yeah, thank you, you thank you very much for the time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. This is the yeah, last yeah, meeting. Yeah. It is uh, so the last meeting means also that it's the last. With the last, berarti sudah habis. Thank you very much. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah, it's the last. This is the last. This is the last. This is the last. This is Orang sana mengatakan oh. it's the last. Kalau kita mengatakan ya wish the last. Nah, Morning kelon today. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Mas Daniel nanti ketemu di Maguwo ya. Wow. Saya, 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 saya,